Francesca. Welcome. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are on day three of holiday recipes and I am bringing you roasted broccoli and Brussels sprouts that are topped with the cutest little pomegranate seeds. I love pomegranate seeds this time of year because they just look like little rubies and jewels and they're just so gorgeous and I feel like they just elevate any dish. And side dishes are just as important on the holidays as the main dish and the appetizers and the desserts. So we gotta make sure we have flavorful holiday dishes and this is so good and I think it is a just a really elegant dish and I think you all will really enjoy it. As always, full recipe is on my blog. You can check the description box down below for a link to that. And the ingredients are written out in the description box as well. And there's also a link to pre my cookbook, Plantiful, coming out January 12, 2021, so soon. I cannot wait for you all to see it. And it would be a great gift to give to a loved one. It's gonna arrive a little bit after the holidays, but you know, a little present after is still fun. And if you pre-order, you get a free holiday dinner ebook that will go away after the pre-ordering time is done, so after January 12th. And you will also get bonus entries into the giveaway that I'm doing on my Instagram that closes on December 15th. So if you want to pre-order, check out the link for that. With all that being said, let's get into the video. All right, so obviously we got our Brussels sprouts, our broccoli, and some garlic. So first we are going to trim our Brussels sprouts. I'm just simply going to cut the bottom half off and then some of the little outer leaves can fall off sometimes. So I just kind of push those off and then I'm just gonna cut the Brussels sprout in half and you're just going to repeat that with all your Brussels sprouts. Then I'm gonna chop the end of my broccoli off and I'm going to cut it into florets. And I just decided not to put the stems in, but you can definitely roast the stems as well, or you could save them for something else. And then we are going to handle our garlic. So I just peeled the garlic and now I'm going to smash it with my knife. And then I'm going to cut them in half. You don't have to do anything you know, crazy with this. Just cut them in half, keep them nice big chunks. And we're gonna pop that into our bowl as well. I saved all my scraps. You can make a veggie broth with this, so you don't have to throw them out. They're perfectly good for other things. Then let's make our marinade. So I have olive oil. We're going to add some garlic powder, black pepper and salt, and the juice of one lemon. And we are going to mix this up until it makes kind of almost like a salad dressing, really, but until it's nice and mixed all together. So once it looks like this, we are going to drizzle half of it over our vegetables. And then I'm just gonna kind of give it a toss, give it a shake, and then I'll drizzle the other half. I like to break it up so that way not all the dressing goes to maybe one spot exactly. It just kind of gets dispersed evenly. And I had a little incident and my bowl fell over. So I had to redo the whole process and I think there was still some water in the bottom of my bowl from when I had to clean the vegetables. So that's why you'll see water in the pan. Yours won't be like this. It'll be a thicker, more oily thing. So don't mind that. I'm just spreading out the broccoli and the Brussels sprouts on the pan and I'm gonna flip all the Brussels sprouts face side down. You can put them face side up, doesn't matter. We're gonna pop it in the oven, bake it 425 for 20 minutes. While they're baking, let's work on our pomegranate seeds. So I saw this really cool YouTube video. I'm gonna link it down below because this is not my way of cutting pomegranate. But you cut the top off and then once you find those little segments you score from the top to the bottom and just kind of create division amongst the pomegranate and then from there you can just kind of crack the pomegranate open this was the easiest way i've ever opened a pomegranate and that's all you got to do and now you have all these beautiful pomegranates in there and you do have to remove them from the white pithy part but you know just remove them and then i like to wash them after just to make sure they're all nice and clean and that's all you got to do easy peasy done so once everything is roasted, we are going to give everything a little flip and then I'm actually gonna broil them. You don't have to do this. The vegetables are perfectly delicious and tender just the way they are, but I like to broil them. They get a little bit burnt almost and I really like that. So I'm just gonna broil it for like three minutes and they'll look something like this. You can see they're much more almost blackened now. And then we're gonna take some balsamic glaze and drizzle that on the bottom of our serving plate. And then we're going to scoop the Brussels sprouts and the broccoli right on top of that plate. As you can see, it's a lot of Brussels sprouts and broccoli, which is good. We need our veggies. And once we got that all arranged, then we can sprinkle it with the pomegranate seeds. And oh my goodness, aren't they just so pretty? They look so beautiful to me. And I feel like this is just like a really nice side dish. And then we're done and that's it. And that's all you gotta do. And I think this is a really great way to like make vegetables more fun. And I used to hate Brussels sprouts, but now I'm so in love with them. So I think you should definitely try it if you're skeptical about Brussels sprouts. This just tastes like lemon and garlic and it's salty and it's a little bit, you know, you get some flavors from the oven and it's a little bit tangy and the balsamic glaze makes a little bit of sweet. It's really good. And I think it'll pair great with any sort of main dish that you decide to make for your holiday celebration. All 
right, everyone, and that was our delicious side dish. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you try it out because it is so good. And I think even if you aren't like the biggest fan of veggies, this is just so flavorful and it is really delicious. So definitely, definitely try it. If you do try it, be sure to tag me on Instagram, use hashtag plantbelievebase so I can see your beautiful vacations or leave me a comment down below. I just love to hear back how everything goes. If you like my videos, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff helps the channel to grow, helps us to spread more vegan recipes around the world. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Bye.